So, you've thought of a great new product that is going to revolutionize the gaming industry. The question then becomes, how are you going to communicate your idea to make it a reality? You may have heard the phrase, a picture is worth a thousand words. Visualization through images, as opposed to words, allows people to absorb large amounts of data quickly. Sketching is an important skill for engineers and designers. While computers can assist in this process, research has shown that you are more creative when hand sketching design concepts. Even if you consider yourself someone who can't draw, there are some basic guidelines that can help you to create sketches that can be understood by others. An object that seems complex at first can be broken down into easier to understand lines and shapes, such as rectangles and circles. This tape dispenser has complex curves and angles that can be broken down into simple straight lines and concentric circles. The sketch may appear messy at this point, but that's okay. Note how the complex curve of the top of the dispenser can be broken down into two angled lines and part of a circle. You can start detailing the sketch by adding in rounded corners and smaller details where appropriate. A trick to drawing correct proportions is to break the object down using a simpler component of the object. In this case, we'll start with the wheel of the car. In terms of wheels, the car is about 3.5 wheels wide and 1.4 wheels tall. We can use these rough proportions to box the object's proportional guidelines. Hint, when drawing cars, it is easier to get the proportions right if you draw the placement of the two wheels first. After breaking down the rough proportions, use simple lines to break the object down into simple shapes. After breaking the object down into simple shapes, you can start rounding out certain details such as curved surfaces. Add in the rest of your details and you're ready to shade in your sketch. When drawing curved objects, using simple lines to break down a shape is not enough. A curved object, such as this cup, will not appear to have straight top and bottom edges even when looked at directly at eye level. After using flat lines to box in the shape of the cup, you will need to curve the edges of a curved object to properly convey its shape. Note the difference between the flat red line and the curvature of the top edge of the cup. Note how the curvature persists in the bottom edges of the cup as well. Hint, the curved edge of an object changes depending on how you're looking at it. The farther away the edge is from your eye level, the more rounded it becomes. This can be seen by viewing a glass with circles drawn along the outside surface at different angles. When shading with a pencil, try to avoid using the tip of your pencil's graphite and instead use the side of the graphite. If you're using a mechanical pencil, try wearing down the tip of your lead to an angle to simulate this. This covers areas easier and makes the shading smoother. Don't be afraid to use a wide range of values to create contrast, but don't overdo it. Very few items will use the full spectrum from white to black. Notably, metallic objects or dark colored objects with extremely bright lighting. Avoid coloring in objects with only one tone. Even flat objects have a range of values, even if it's a very small range. Avoid harsh blocks of highlight and shadow. This is unrealistic and makes things look cartoonish. Avoid using flat gradients for shading curved objects. Note how for curved objects, the shading follows along the curve of the object and is not flat. Another important key to success in sketching is practice. As is true with most activities like playing lacrosse, solving Sudoku puzzles, and beating the system in Guitar Hero, the more experience you gain, the better you will perform. So consider carrying a pencil with you wherever you go. When you notice something interesting, something that can be improved, or something you would like to share, make a quick sketch instead of taking a picture. Your sketching skills will improve, you will impress your friends and family with your ability, and you will become a more competent designer.